like how they give us a lot of work because it gets me ready for college. It teaches you organization, it teaches you discipline and respect. Middle school, they didn't really enforce the rules, but here at Max, they do. They taught me how to be a good student. They taught me how to be a dedicated human being. Be prepared to do the work. If you're like really organized and you know that you can get it done, then this is definitely a place for you to be. It's literally all to help you. So now I could go into a job interview with my shirt tucked in, or I could go to work with my uniform in place, or you know I could come to places on time because this place, you know. We are a multicultural academy charter school. We are on North Broad Street in North Philadelphia. We serve grades nine through 12. We are a college prep charter high school. As a charter high school, we are a school of choice, meaning parents choose to send their kids to this school. Here, we're all about rigor, rigorous academics, rigorous behavior expectations. We are a small family-like community, and if that's the kind of school that parents believe in with tough love, then this is a great match for your child. The academics here at Multicultural Academy Charter School is quite rigorous because students are juggling seven classes. A lot of classes have a high demand for work that needs to be turned in on a schedule. And excuses really aren't accepted. Teachers are trying to nurture and foster the type of mindset for them to be successful in college and afterward. The workload here, it's a heavy workload. And then on top of it, there's tests. And I had midterms for the first time. I had finals for the first time. Parents choose our school because they are looking for something different. It's not a typical city high school. It's a quiet, strict learning environment. And that means we actually enforce our rules. A lot of schools, they say they have rules, but they don't enforce the rules. They say cell phones aren't allowed. However, students walk around all day with the cell phones. The Max has a handbook and they actually enforce the rules of the handbook. I taught my sons and my students to see the larger picture of where we're actually trying to take them in life and get ready for the real big bad world as it might be. A big adjustment for me when I came to the school was um, coming into the strictness, like all the homework, the tests and quizzes every week, and then having homework every night. When I came in ninth grade year, I wanted to test the waters and see what I could get away with. It turned out I couldn't get away with anything. I think Max has set me up for college because like I could get used to the workload and like how to think of like setting up my time and schedules. Kids go through so much change in those four years. It's important to know that the administrators and the teachers know them personally. We know our kids' names. We greet them every morning at the door. This allows us to show that extra care and also to hold them accountable for their growth, for their behavior, for their performance. Picking a high school is like picking a college. You want a school that's going to help nurture your child to grow. And this school is small, but everybody knows everybody. And I think that played a major factor for me in picking this school. Max is very hands-on and very attentive to each student individually. Each child gets different love here. Each character of a child gets different attention here. Both of my kids, they came from an Islamic school. That was something I was worried about them being, being accepted for who they are. And we've never had any problems. I've never had any problems from the staff or my children have never complained about being treated any different or anything like that. When students enter our school, we want them to feel welcomed and supported here. It is my personal goal to know every student's name. And this is the goal of all the other staff that is in the school. We have students coming from all different parts of the city when they first come to us, students are very nervous here. They're intimidated by our program because we tell them it's a lot of work. And then they start to see that we're a little bit more than just this facade of discipline and old fashioned rules. They start to see that it's a place where we are gonna open up doors for them. The highest compartment of the building is 67 meters tall. And by the end of their ninth grade year, the transformation is remarkable. They are confident, they can get up in front of a room of students 
and clearly convey ideas. They can present work that they've poured themselves into. Getting to see that transformation every year is priceless. I'm passing all my tests and quizzes because I'm studying more. And it's just, the more you get yourself together, the better your experience is going to be. I was late a lot during my freshman year, and now, as a junior, I'm like always trying to get out of the house to make sure I'm here so I don't miss anything. So that way I'm ahead where everybody else is and not behind. We do offer a variety of other creative outlets for our students. We have a drama program, a music program, an art program, and a creative writing program. In addition to allowing these students to express themselves in unique ways, it creates a greater rapport between students and a greater sense of community here. This, in combination with the small student population, reduces the opportunities for bullying or isolation to take place. As they say, they don't want to create the next NBA player, they want to create the next lawyer, the next architect, the next professor at a school. Max fit a lot of what I was looking for for my son. The school is successful because we rely on three key players for that success. Terrific educators, number one. Number two, we have parents who are committed to this place. They believe in what we're doing. They also back us up when we need backup. And number three, we have students who eventually buy into the model and apply themselves. We don't work magic tricks here. We give them a quiet, safe learning environment and students who take advantage of that are successful here. It takes a village and Max staff definitely was the village and we all worked together and I, I, I'm very appreciative of the results. My Jordan has got accepted to five universities and he's gotten over like $100,000 in scholarships. I have a 3.9 GPA and I have $500,000 in scholarships from four colleges, but I have nine acceptances. Our children are an example of who we are. If you see that the example is not positive, instill it because we are their example. And it is our job to do so as parents. And it's the teacher's job to do it as their leader in education. And when we bring those two together, you create a wonderful individual.